it's fascinating because you know, in the market right now, you know, we're not we're still far. Buyers and sellers are still far away, and um, part of it is adapting to to the new realities yeah, economic yeah. that we're living in and mm-hmm. you know i think we have to we're in a higher inflationary environment i don't think it's going away i think we're inflation's going to be coming down but yeah. i don't think it's going back down to two percent and so getting out of the um you know the, the the positions that we were in in the way you would look at the market back in 20, you know, the really the past, you know, seven or 10 years of, you know, low inflation and, you know, low cap rates and low interest rates. And one trend that was ha- that's happened over the last, you know, really since 2010 or so is, you know, cash flows, of multifamily properties returns, not necessarily total returns, mm-hmm. um, but, you know, cash flows have been going down and down and down. I mean, it used to be that you wanted to see high single digit cash on cash return in the first year of operations, and but it wasn't uncommon um, to be getting you know double digit. You, mm-hmm. you could get you know ten percent cash on cash year one or year two. I mean, the cash flows historically were much stronger. I mean, you go back and look at the set, you know, the seventies and eighties. Those cash flows are really strong. Now you had to had to hold on to the property for a longer period of time because you didn't. What wasn't there was the appreciation. Yeah, you know the cap rates were much higher, and so it was a much longer term play focused on cash flow, which we've always been focused on cash flow. But I think we're returning to that, mm-hmm. and because because the reality is, um, you know, the risk, pre, the discount rates have changed. Um, we're in a real yield environment. Where bonds actually are yielding something, because mm-hmm. past you know again years, it's like what what was the point of bonds besides you know, some weight and balance to your portfolio? Um, and they've been performing horribly, but they also had been yielding you know next to zero. But now all of a sudden, you know, you can get you know four percent you know out of a you know treasury bond. You can get six percent out of you know, municipal bond. You know you can go to yeah. high yielding you know corporate debt. You know it can be grade, and you can maybe get nine percent. And so, you know, for a, you know, multifamily, um, it's a cash flows uh, for multifamily property should track closer to that kind of corporate yeah. um, debt yield because um, you're getting more return on a multifamily investment because it's equity and you have upside in addition to that, but you want to be paid while you wait. And so the the times of, you know, accepting lower cash flow, you know, five, six percent, four percent, three percent, or no cash. I mean, there there were groups in the last couple of years doing deals with no cash flow, no oh, yeah. cash flow. But it's like, well, it's mm-hmm. gonna appreciate we're gonna sell it for a lot in the in that was successful for a period of time, but that's just not the world we're living in right now. And so you've got all these sellers who need to sell mm-hmm. and they really don't like the idea of selling at high cap rates. Yeah, but that's just the reality, and so the the spread has the gap between buyers and sellers. The bid ask spread has narrowed. Who was maybe you know 150 basis points? You know, cap rates maybe at four and a half, and people were like, I'm more at you know high five six cap. Now mm-hmm. the brokers and sellers are closer to five, kind of five and a half, and you know the market's going closer to a six. And a year a year ago, to say to a lot of multifamily operators. Cap rates are going to be close to six percent when they were at four. That was that's hard to process. I mean, yeah. They don't want to believe that, and a lot of them still don't want to believe that because their buddy sold a deal for a four cap yeah. a couple months ago, and now like the offers come in and it's you know mid high fives and sixes. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be interesting when there will be a point where and buyers and sellers are meeting in the middle. Um, mm-hmm. But we're not there just yet. So I like bet that 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 moment will be the shortest yeah. the shortest time period possible. <laughs> yeah, and then I think cap rates are gonna yeah yeah go down. 